family and uh, I don't think anyone is surprised that once that is, I knew I was going to leave the throne my first choice was my, my mind just went to Lagos because this is where uh, you grow up. <laughs> <laughs> what is your sister? It's where Uncle Wale is. That's where Uncle Wale is. Yes. Yeah. I went yeah. into where he is, where mm. Achejo is, where mm. all my friends are. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Um, so it's, um, in a sense, it's, it's, it's always been home to me. Uh, now, when I talk to family and friends on these matters, it's always difficult. Um, but these are very simple. And maybe what I should do is share a story with my daughter, uh, the oldest daughter, when we were flown to Abuja and we're about to go to Nasarawa and they met me at the airport. And she came and was crying and crying and crying. I said, well, why are you crying? So I said to her, look, in our families, we believe that God decides who will be a king. He also decides the day you will be the king and the day you will stop being the king. <coughs> so let's assume and take it for granted that those dates have been fixed by God from 8th of June 2014 to 9th March 2020. So as a question, said if, if God had said to you on 9th March 2020, that today is the end of your father's reign and you have two options one option is I take his life and he dies on the throne the other option is I take the throne away but leave him alive and healthy which one would you pick She said, I would rather have you alive. I said, so why are you crying? I would not spend one day beyond 9th of March because that was the end of my term. Somebody else was going to be in And just either, I've always said it, it's either you die or you leave. And if you're given life and you don't know how many more years and you're given health and you don't know what else you're going to do, it's just an opportunity to add more things to what you've done in your life. I've been CEO of First Bank, I've been Governor of Central Bank, I've been Emir of Kano. I don't know what I'm going what to be next. next. You know, so you know, <laughs> it's just that's it, and, and, and another phase. And I think if you take this at I'm not going to stop anything. I have a lasso uh, convocation lecture. I'm going to chair on the 26th of March. I'm going any fixed events I have. I will turn up at my events. Continue with my work on Bongona, continue my work on QIBP, continue with my work on One Million Teachers, on the SDGs, you know. Uh, nothing has changed other than that I don't sit on that throne and I don't ride horses, you know, and, uh, <laughs> which I've done for You can still years. ride horses. Yeah, yeah, horses. You can I mean, still I ride horses. I mean, I mean, and all, all that. So, so for me, you know, um, I think we should, we should have a very, very positive attitude to to this and, we, and we, we, we should always never ever define ourselves by, by mm. uh, positions uh, or by what uh, or by possessions yeah. and maybe you remember the famous confrontation I had with the Senate committee when I told them my name is Senusi, I'm the Senusi, not CBN governor you know so you 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 X this, X that, X this, X that. But at the end of the day, you've got to be something yourself. You've got to be known for who you are. And I look back and I say, look, how many people have the opportunity of seeing when they've ruled? How many people have a chance to know what their people really thought of them? And, and I think it's a great blessing for me to see what kind of people thought of my success. Yeah, you know, to, uh, because at the end of the day, I was Emir of the people of Kano, not the Emir of the government of Kano. If the people of Kano love me and the government doesn't like me, 
I'm, I'm even, I would rather have that than be loved by the government and hated by the schools now for 201 years. Since Diablo started, not a single prince whose father was not Amir made it to the throne. I was the first. Every other prince after Diablo was the son of an Amir. I was the first grandson to defeat sons of Amir. So, you know, I mean, it's a blessing that I should thank God for, you know, and uh, so many things to be thankful for. Uh, the, the structures and the palace will be there for hundreds of years and it's history. Uh, the, the law we, we codified for Muslim on the Muslim family law, Kaduna State is about to pass it, and Kaduna State has been delayed. Kaduna State is about to pass, or probably the first state to pass the law, three years of working with scholars, dealing with issues around age of marriage, domestic violence, uh, women's rights, you know, uh, child rights, all these issues of street begging and um, arresting fathers, they're all in the law. And, and, and those are the kinds of things that are essential for transforming society. So for me, I'm proud of just the, the years that I put in, just like I was proud of the years I put in the central bank. And um, I'm sure that there'll be many more things I'll be proud of doing um, going forward so long as as we have life and health, which is what we pray for. And uh, so, you can, I would say at the airport, you can, you can always have what? This was an ex-president, this was an ex-governor, this was an ex-emir, an ex-commissioner. You can't say this was an ex-intellectual, this was an ex-intelligent person, this was an ex-educated person. So, there, there are certain things that I hold uh, and I cherish, and, and, and those are things that can never be taken away from you. And, but what these other things, you know, it's just a face. Just a face. I wanted to be Amy, and Alhamdulillah, I was. And it's there in the record, you know, and the history is there. And what happens today is not important. When you're dealing with an institution like the Amy, it is when the history of Kano is being written over the next 50 years, 100 years. That is when, that is what will really matter. How are you going to be remembered uh, long after you've gone? Not what. You could be on the wrong side of the present, but if the present is dysfunctional, then you're on the right side of history. These are all uh, important considerations. And they're happy. You know, because of the injustice they suffered. And, you know, it's. So it's, it's nice to, to see that people are crying, people are grieving. And uh, it says at least that in the years that we were there, we gave them good leadership. And we can only pray that whoever comes after continues to give good leadership and they continue to enjoy good leadership. And that we move on to, uh, to other things. So for me, it's past. Uh, my friend Ijo was asking me if I thought X um, also supported this. And I said to Ijo, when, when I said God has taken this away, I meant God. I really meant God. So I'm not interested in who liked me, who instigated it, who approved it, who encouraged it, who was it. It is totally, totally immaterial. I'm not going to think about it. I, I don't even want to be told uh, who did what or who played what role. It's gone, it's gone. You know, it's a line drawn. Um, for me, I've moved on. Uh, if, um, so I think that this is not something anyone should grieve about, honestly. Um, I think we should, for me, we should think about it. My father lived and died. His father was an Amy, but he never became an Amy. He died. Yeah, that's a crown prince. Just a few weeks ago, we buried our uncle, Ambassador Dosedes. He was uh, at 90. He's, he always wanted to be an Amy. But God didn't give it to him. I still have an uncle there who's in his 80s, who's been trying to be Amy for over 60 years. 
and he has not made it, you know. So that, that you've had the opportunity to be there for six years. And uh, in our dynasty, okay, Madam Kazona, I've done what I could in six years. I'm, I'm moving on. I don't want to go back. You know. So frankly, um, the truth is, if I wanted to go back, the 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 letter was so badly written. This was so unprofessionally done. It is the easiest thing in the world to go to court. Fair hearing, high court, just like today. It's simple, fair hearing. Did you query him? Did you tell him? Did you ask him to, to defend himself? Did you even call him to ask him any question? No, that's, that's all, you know? But no, I think uh, we should go on with a new phase in life. And, uh, and, uh,